Hi everyone, this is board certified plastic surgeon Sean Doherty from Boston and I wanted to continue today some videos on facial rejuvenation. So I always tell my patients who come in to discuss facial rejuvenation that there are four things that I look at. Um, there is the quality of the skin, there's volume loss, there is the descent of skin, and there's also the uh, dynamic and non-dynamic lines that occur. So today we're going to address volume loss. Um, so it's not simply just throwing in filler and puffing up your cheeks. It's about a physician truly assessing you to see what would harmonize your face and what would be a nice, subtle, appropriate treatment. So mid-face volumization is the concept of putting filler in in a strategic fashion in the mid-face to help lift things up. As we age, starting in our mid-20s, unfortunately, we lose some of that nice fat that we have in our uh, cheeks. If you look at pictures of yourself in high school or college or in your early 20s, people have nice full cheeks, and certainly kids have nice full cheeks. That is youthful. We sort of expect that. And those of us who start losing that fat in our mid-face kind of in a demonstrable way, tends to age people a little bit more, creates shadowing here, and it emphasizes the lower face because that fat actually helps hold up skin, hold up structures in your face. And some of that fat that retains sort of falls down the face with the skin as the laxity of your skin worsens. All of that, unfortunately, is inevitable. All of that is associated with things that you do to yourself, so weight loss, weight gain, um, how you care for your skin, the activity level you have, the type of um, metabolism you have, which is given to you through genetics, and then just overall genetics. So what can you do? So a true facial rejuvenation consultation reviews and discusses volume loss. A really kind of simple, basic way to um, create a nice um, improvement in that mid-face is volumizing the mid-face with filler. I think of it as almost like a Nike swoosh-like fashion. You want to volumize here along the zygoma, which is this cheekbone that's right here, volumizing here, not to the point of cheeks that you can serve drinks on, but a strength and volume in this area, again, harmonizes the mid-face. I to then, then tend to volumize a little bit around here to give some um, edge filler, so not truly in the front, but towards the edge, because that's actually really kind of how your cheekbone should be. Then, with a patient that I'm doing this for the first time, then we look at the rest of the face in conjunction with that new filled cheek. It tends to smooth out this line, it tends to smooth out this line, and tends to bring these things up. And it also tends to take away some of the drag of the lower eyelids, which is also quite aging. I like to use my um, more substantive fillers, like Voluma or Restylane Lift for that. Um, as a surgeon, I like to do surgical things and fat grafting is considered surgery. So when my patients ask me for more long lasting volumization uh, options, I talk to them about fat. So harvesting fat from anywhere on the body, oftentimes it's the upper abdomen, lower abdomen or along the flanks, spinning that down, smoothing it out, creating a great, a nice um, uh, uh, natural filler um, provides the opportunity for me to then place fat in this area. And in fact, that is a very long lasting um, improvement. And I very much often do that in conjunction with um, a facelift or a neck lift or another type of surgical procedure. It's a good thing to do. So I hope that helps kind of give some thoughts about mid-face volumization um, with um, filler or fat and how that relates to uh, facial rejuvenation. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to my Instagram, YouTube, and website for uh, further information. And please reach out via a social media or email with kind comments. I appreciate them. Thanks so much. Have a good day.